it's your girl pickles coming at you with another video so in this video as the title suggests i'm going to be talking about things that i brought from kenya to south africa and these are things that i've convinced myself that i can't live without i've told myself i need this stuff basically i'm gonna start with the kitchen stuff because they're the ones that are right here next to me and yeah here goes these are eight kitchen products and one bonus one that is something that now I'm going to be taking from South Africa to Kenya. Eight products that I cannot live without that I use in Kenya and I use here and I pack them. It's just something that's part of my list when I'm packing. Let's get straight into it. So the first thing is a staple. I think it's a staple in every household. I'm pretty sure every single house in Kenya has this. And it's none other than... Reiko. <laughs> so if you guys didn't grow up eating this Reiko Mchuzi mix, I don't know whether you're Kenyan or you guys were living a nice fancy lifestyle or what. <laughs> and everybody who's ever made food for me swears by it. It helps thicken stews and it's a mixture of like, it's not written here in the container but they always used to say this in the ad. I'm Peter, Reiko's head chef. Ever wondered why Rokum Choosy Mix makes the most delicious stew? I sourced 60 natural ingredients from across the country, blended them together to create the best quality Choosy Mix. Different herbs and spices that all come together to make this thickening curry kind of thing. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> and it's obviously like East African because it says Choosy Mix and that's Swahili. And it says it's made in Unilever. Uganda, Kampala, Dar es Salaam, yeah, none of them are Unilever South Africa. So for sure you cannot get this here. <laughs> so that's one of the first things that I carry. This one is new to me. This one, I can't act like I've known about it for long. I've only known about it for like a year or so. But ever since I've known about it, it's, it's always all I talk about. I even put my mom on this. I found out my friends already use it. This one, if you guys don't know about this yet, you need to go look for it. You can get this in Naivas, Carrefour, Tuskies, whatever supermarket you think of, you can get it there. Quick Mart, it's there for sure. Cause it's made by a Kenyan lady. I believe she lives in the diaspora. And apparently she used to always make this rub and her friends kept asking for the recipe. So she was smart, business minded. She slapped a brand name on it. And now she's selling it. It's Chibunduro. I don't know if you guys have heard of this chibunduro, but it basically has coriander, ginger, cinnamon, garlic, onion, cardamom. So you can confuse this scent for pilau masala by the way. If you guys know what pilau masala smells like, you can confuse this scent because a lot of the ingredients are similar to pilau masala, but they're not exactly the same at the same time. Yeah. So you can see this is a hot chilies version. I love chilies, but she has a mild version. I think those are the only two versions I've seen. I don't know if there's any other versions. This is perfect for dry frying meat. It's so good for dry frying meat, but I don't eat meat anymore. So I'm going to be using it to dry fry my vegetables. And it's also nice if you want to braai, like to um, marinate, yeah, to marinate your meat before you braai with this. It would, it would taste really, really nice. And another thing that I noticed now, once I put my mom onto it, she puts it in her githeri, she puts it in her beans. It still has very flavorful spices to put into a stew as well. So I don't think it would thicken it, but it would add a lot of flavor. And just bear in mind the hot is hot. Here in South Africa, a lot of things that are made from nuts are super expensive. So like cashew butter, macadamia butter, they're super expensive. So I found that in Kenya, they're not that expensive. I don't know whether their nuts are cheaper there, I don't know. So another thing that I got was this cashew spread. I was originally I was originally looking for cashew butter, but I ended up getting this cashew spread. And I was also originally looking for the company Uma. I don't know if you guys know Uma, but I didn't find it in Naivas. This is all I found and it was too late for me to be like ordering online or whatever because I'm a last minute person. That's the type of human being I am. I've accepted it. <laughs> So yeah, I got this cashew spread and this is amazing for like protein and I can use it on I use it on like toast or in my yogurt or with fruits like apples It's really really good. So yeah, the main reason I got that is because it's more expensive here in South Africa Yeah, so I got that because of cheapness not because of unavailability. You can definitely get cashew butter or cashew spread 
in SA it's just more expensive another thing that is more expensive but can be found here that I carried from Kenya is honey I could have gone and gotten like raw raw honey from like somebody who someone who keeps bees but this was good enough because it says pure natural organic it says it's been well refined to retain its nutritional and medicinal value I brought this so I could use it in my pre-poo mixture but I also use my honey on in my meals I also use it in my yogurt and muesli just anywhere you could use honey as a sweetener for my coffee anywhere you could use honey you can see it's almost over the next thing is I don't know why I specifically like this one it's just because I've grown up eating it so it's just that it, it's in my palate so I've just convinced myself that I need it it's also really good for curries I also use this on my vegetables like if I'm sauteing vegetables or steaming vegetables it's really really great for that and yeah it's cheap it's cheap for this biggest thing and it lasts so 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 long but honestly curry powder is very easy to get and i also like south african curry powder like raja so i don't like explicitly use this yeah. this one in kenya you can get from so many companies it used to be just tropical heat but now there's like so many other companies so i just picked this one because they were on offer and they came with some garlic powder or something like that but yeah it's pilau masala and tea masala i'll talk about the tea one first so if you've ever had chai lattes or chai soy lattes or whatever you call them this is literally the spice that's being used for that it's a tea spice that has um, black pepper ginger cardamom cinnamon cloves nutmeg and basil and it's it's really really nice i don't know what benefits it has but i really like how it tastes i haven't opened it yet as you can see but yeah i like to make it when i make it with tea leaves which i don't have at the moment so like i boil them all together and sieve it it doesn't expire because it's a dry product so i'm gonna have this for a while but the other one is pilau masala so i know you guys all know pilau masala if you guys have ever had pilau masala this is what is used and it has cumin seeds, cardamom, cloves, cinnamon, black pepper, and garlic. It's also what's used in like biryani and a lot of other dishes. So originally when I came here, I tried to make pilau with the actual spices. Like the actual spices that hadn't been ground yet. And yeah, it tasted like it, but the flavor wasn't fully there. So that's when I knew that I always have to <laughs> carry this. Because this one has the spices already ground. So they infuse into the water, into the rice, perfectly. So if you wanted to make this without having this here in South Africa, you could, but you'd need to like have a spice grinder. Okay, so the last thing that you, know, this one is important, and is very important. <laughs> it is tea bags. They're gonna fall out. Tea bags. So I got this catering pack that comes with a hundred of them from Ketepa. Although my mom really likes Kericho Gold, but in my opinion, Kenyan tea. Whichever Kenyan tea, all are amazing. Yeah, so I carry this because there's nothing like Kenyan tea. Straight up, no matter where you go, there's nothing like Kenyan tea. The last item, the bonus, bonus, bonus item. Let me give you a quick story time. I went to Kenya this holiday in June and you know, I don't know where, whether I've like conditioned myself now. I have to have this in my eggs. If my eggs doesn't have this, they feel tasteless to me. They feel like they don't taste how they're supposed to taste. And I went to Nairobi straight to go buy this. I find out it's been like the what do you call it the it's not been sold there anymore basically they don't sell it there anymore and i was so disappointed i was like no it is aromat so this thing you can still get here in south africa so like i said all this stuff i carried from kenya because i can't get them here now this one this the next time i go to nairobi I'm carrying this because i don't have it i can't have it there and I, like i just said i feel like my eggs are tasteless if I don't put this inside it <laughs> I feel like there's something missing every single time I have eggs without this I feel like there's something missing so yeah that's the bonus something that I'm gonna take to Kenya from South Africa